There's been many people over the years that have tried to end war with peace. So we've been presented with war and peace as being opposites of each other. They're not opposites of each other. You can't actually end war with peace because peace is not the opposite of war. It is merely the absence of war. Now, if we look at it like a set of scales, we can understand this better. So, um, if I just draw these scales, and we have peace is the effect when the scales are level. On this end, we have war, which is what we've seen lots of in the world. And obviously, we've had a lot of people standing for peace many, many times against many, many wars. And I don't know about you, but I've never seen a peace movement end a war, not properly. What has made any movement of peace effective is to do with those people who have used the opposite of war, which is, in actual fact, uh, let me just get rid of this, it is raw. So as a spell, there's some particular spells which are opposites of each other, and the opposite of war is raw. And the only reason any in the peace movement have had any effect on war or any shifting on war is because, not because they've stood for peace, but because those people were raw in doing so. Now what do I mean by raw? Raw, are, raw actions are the actions that come from the authentic human self. They're the things that come from within us and recognise our shared fragility, they recognise our vulnerability. When I try and convey the concept of raw to people, the only idea, the only, the only experiences I know of are the female menstrual cycle. That is raw. Infancy and childbirth. That is raw. Parenthood. When your vulnerability and fragility is externalised and taken away, that also is raw. Now if we can tap into those qualities and understand what it feels like when rawness moves through us and let that be the um, guiding force of our actions, when our rawness starts to make itself felt in the world, then will it balance off the war in the world and peace will be the result. And you can consider them as being masculine and feminine versions of each other and we all have both in us. So you can have people who are supposedly against war and standing for peace, but because they're not being raw in their behaviour, they're being quite warlike, they're actually on this side of the scale just making the problem worse because it's not about the lip service that we pay but about the energy that moves through us. So if you do want to end war in the world, anybody, then what I invite you to do is get in touch with your raw authenticity within yourself and start to move from there, act from there, speak from there. Until it starts to come out of you, it's no good. If it's still sitting inside all locked up and all your rawness is there and you're maybe mentioning it to your close friends and nobody else, then that's not it. You're not going to end war in the world with that. It's when you are raw and you get out there and you act and you allow it to move through you and take over you, then you'll be able to end war in the world.